What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel in another video. Today we're doing another open cup with some really brilliant bright colors. So we're using fluorescent yellow, fluorescent green, phthalo green, and Amsterdam titanium white. All these colors are mixed three parts Floetrol to one part paint. And in the colors, besides the base, there is one drop of Penetrol to aid in cell creation. So let's get started. Let's do this. It's a fairly frigid day in Detroit today. We got our first decent snow of the of the season. And it's it's chilly, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. This this Florida boy's cold up here. But yeah, just getting that base coat down. So in this titanium white, the base coat, there is it's just three parts flow troll to one part paint. That is it. There is no additional additives. Took my little condiment cup, cut the bottom off, and then we're going to start. And then all these colors have one drop of Penetrol. These are some very fun little colors, though. It's fluorescent green. I did notice when I mixed it, it turned to a lighter shade of fluorescent green. But I also know that a lot of the times these colors will dry darker just because the Floetrol, it's white in color, but when it dries, it dries to a clear consistency. So I do know that it will dry clear, allowing these colors to darken up to the, where they're supposed to be. So right now we're layering them in no real particular order. I am allowing some of these colors to churn because I do like the gradient that forms when they churn. And as you can see, we already have some cells starting to form. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of heat and try to get maybe a little bit more of a reaction going. See if we can get any more of these cells to kind of burst through. And they are. They're starting to grow, which is amazing. I do love these colors. So this is a triadic color composition just three colors on the same part of the color wheel. So they're just next to each other essentially. And you'll have a lot of really nice color combinations when you do when you do those. So let me turn it just a little bit so you guys can see some of these beautiful colors that are popping through. See if we can get a little bit more yellow popping out on that side. I know it doesn't quite work that way. I can't just say, I'm gonna put it over there. And it goes. Because you know, acrylic paint's gonna do what it wants. We can try to assist. And that is all that we can really do. I was expecting with some of these yellows and greens to create some interesting colors. And it is actually. It is creating some pretty beautiful little selections there. I know we're starting to get towards the end, so I am gonna wanna do my little swipe. So right now I'm just getting a little bit of colors in there. So when we do our swipe, we can get some nice cell effects right in the very middle. All right, and then maybe just a little bit of dark. Not too, too much. Let me tilt this little, little fell over just a little bit. All right, and then we'll do our 
a little swipe. We're essentially dragging all those layers we just made over each other so they can do their own little cell effects. Man, these colors are really beautiful together. Let me set this off to the side. And I love the concentric rings when you do a uh, open cut pour like this. Really, it's very striking to me. Layering a little bit of paint around the outside edges so we can flow. So that's what we need. We have more than enough paint on the canvas right now. So I'm not too concerned about that. I do want it to be able to flow evenly though. There we go. All right. So I like to hit it with the torch right before I do my last spin. So if there's any more cell effects that we can bring out, we kind of bring them out now so we can expand on them later. We've got some really cool striations and just dynamic little cells going on in there and I'm very, very happy with that. That's so pretty looking. Man, all right. So, we're ready for our spin. And some of you are often curious about all this excess paint. Well, after the video, I typically take a spatula or something and I spread that out and I kind of do a swipe over it. And then I use these skins for jewelry. So, so all this excess paint that I use all the time, it does get used. Man, that's really cool. We have these big cells and then right in the center where we did our swipe, we have all these little tiny cells. All right, let's see what we can bring out with the heat gun. I'm seeing some subtle changes in this this bright big patch of yellow and neon green. So yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. This is fantastic. It almost looks like a it reminds me of like a lily or some kind of a flower. What do you guys see in this? But yeah, I love it. I'm going to bring you guys down. We're going to check this thing out together. Look at these really bright colors. These are some very happy colors to be seen during winter time, that's for sure. And some really good color definition from that really dark green to the neon green. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.